Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you create a new team from Teams templates. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So let's say you are in uh, Microsoft Teams and you obviously are trying to uh, create a new team, for example. So you hit uh, join or create a new team, create a team. Now, uh, up until recently, uh, we only had a few choices, only a couple of choices. We could either create a team from scratch or we could uh, create a team from an existing team, essentially copy the existing team or connect it to an existing group, essentially uh, a Microsoft 365 group that uh, already has all the other components uh, except for team. We could actually connect the team to an existing group. This was the only two choices we had up until recently. Um, Microsoft implemented this new template capability and what you can do is pretty much choose one of the existing templates. Now, uh, you can actually create a template uh, from the admin center. Obviously, uh, that's a functionality available only to uh, your IT uh, administrators. Uh, but what you see right now on the screen are essentially the built-in templates uh, that you can choose from for different use cases, different, uh, I guess, types of uh, scenarios. And what the template really is, let me just click on um, you know, one of the templates, let's say where we want to manage a project. What a template really is, it's pretty much uh, a preset um, you know, collection of channels and apps. So you know when you create a new team, you have to kind of do everything from scratch uh, all the time, right? Create channels, uh, create, um, you know, add additional apps. A template already allows you pretty much already has uh, all of this stuff prepackaged, so you don't need uh, to, to do it manually. And depending on which type of template you choose, uh, it will have different collection of channels as well as apps. So let me go back. Let's just say we want to onboard new employees. So we have a team for that. Again, we have you know different channels been created and different apps created just for that purpose. Uh, so let me go back. Let's just say we want to manage a project. I'm going to choose that template and I'm going to click uh, start. Now, um, uh, you know, what you see now, the screen you see now is pretty much the same screen you see if you were to create a regular, you know, team from scratch. We now have to choose uh, the privacy level, private or public. Private means uh, it's um, only accessible to members, right? You, as an old group owner, you have to allow others into your team. Public means anyone can join uh, a team, a group uh, as they wish. They don't need anybody, anybody's permission. So uh, let's choose private. Uh, and uh, we are going to uh, give it a name um, just like that. All right. You know, we can provide description. That's optional. Hit create. So now it does take a bit of time to create a team. Um, I'm not going to have you wait, uh, you know, here and staring at this video uh, while it's spinning the wheel. So I'm going to resume it in a second. Okay, so now I'm resuming this video in a couple of minutes. Uh, it did finish uh, the provisioning uh, of the team. Here it is. And look what happened. Essentially, after it finished provisioning, uh, the team has been created. If you notice, um, you know, here is the general channel, which is an out of the box channel, and then those other channels that uh, have been created uh, as well. Let me show them all. I think I, I guess they're hidden by default. So uh, perfect, right? Like just like that. So again, all of these channels were auto created with uh, emoji and everything. And um, you, you know, if you recall, let me find this. Or if you remember when I chose the template, it also contained a few applications, and one of them was uh, OneNote. So here it is. It added a tab as well uh, automatically. Uh, when I um, uh, when essentially when this uh, team was created. Uh, now, one thing I want to highlight is the fact that let's go to Files tab under my general channel and open in SharePoint. Uh, this, of course, will open up a SharePoint site that has been created as well. One thing I want to point out, uh, there is uh, the site, you know, is not templatized, all right? The site, um, you know, gets, that gets created is the same exact site um, you know, that gets created in terms of look and feel uh, if you were to choose just, you know, a team from scratch. So uh, nothing has been templatized about the site. Essentially, uh, when we are talking about teams, uh, templates, uh, we're just talking about channels and applications that are configured 
Uh, same with security, right? I mean, obviously, uh, you need to set up your own, you know, security, create additional channels, um, you know, um, you know, add additional, you know, users, etc. There is nothing uh, related to security that is uh, part of the template. Again, just channels, uh, all the standard channels and uh, applications. And just like I, uh, you know, mentioned a little bit earlier in the beginning of the video, uh, you know, your your admins, um, you know, the the ones that have access to Teams Admin Center can actually create custom templates for your organization. So obviously, if you want to tweak it in any way, and you want to have a different mix of channels or applications, etc., uh, this uh, all of this uh, can be done. Um, you know, can be done pretty much by your uh, IT admin team, and they can create a custom template, a uh, custom template to your organization. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you today in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.